So I'm Callum from the University of Southampton SBI Institute Chanter. So it's our table for the Shadow Theatre in the 3D cinemas. So we start the Shadow Theatre. We take off. We use a proper SBI unit. <laughs> we put our Shadow Pop in the front of it. So get the Shadow. As we move the Shadow around, the Shadow changes. As the light travels in straight lines, and the blue the puppets are and so we can rotate so we can read things so they're equal to look so then we can work here for the rest of the book we've also got moving on to our next step we've got how light is split up into rainbows we've got our rainbow and then this is white light coming in and we're splitting up into our different colours we look at this one we've got our our red, our green and our blue we combine them, so these are primary colours of light we combine them, we can get back to what I did properly we can get back to white light in the middle and then we can, by changing the intensity by moving them further and clearer away we can get yellow and then get purple colours and it's to show that mixing these three colours is how you get all colours of light and this is what your TV uses so when your TV shows a picture, each pixel varies the amount of red, green or blue light. So, my colleague Alex has explained about the 3D cinema. So, uh, I'm Alex and what you've seen so far is how can you make sort of black and white 2D images, shadow figures, how you can make uh, coloured 2D images, but both of them are still 2D and if you want to go one step further, you want to create a 3D image, you're going to need to use polarization. You need to create a way for your eyes to see different images. A way that we've tried to demonstrate this is to use a monitor that has an LCD display where we have gone and removed the polarizing of this thing. And what that means is that when you put on a pair of 3D glasses, you will be able to actually see the different images that your eyes would normally see in the cinema. That's super cool. Look at that. Okay. Because these glasses are intended on working with circular, left and right circular polarized light rather than linear, this is why we're getting a slight color distortion rather than a, a, a clear image. Um, but it, it's very useful to demonstrate the effect and to show you that we're, we're not playing any tricks. There's an animation in the background sort of showing how it's, it's running. Um, we can actually bring the, the original film back on. And show that there, there isn't any tricks here that we're doing. We're, it's just a polarization. There's a very useful industrial application for this which was brought up to us recently. And that is, you can look at what's called uh, the stress induced by infringement. And it's a way to see how much stress the material is under. So we have a, an ordinary plastic cup. You put it in front of the light and you can't really see much, but if you add a polarizer to it... You can now actually see the stress inside the plastic cup when it was molded. Squeeze the cup, you see it changes. You know, the stress in the cup changes. Oh yeah. So That's really apparent. That's a yeah. super cool demonstration. So yeah, so in cinema, you use two different polarizations of light, two different images, and each eye will see a different image, giving you the idea of depth and keep creating that 3D image. So that's, that's our demonstration.